I paint because it helps me do two things. It, it really helps me with chronic pain. When I'm painting, I do not notice the pain, and it's, it's fantastic. Um, the other thing is that it helps me, it gives me a reflection of what's going on inside my own head right away. has been in social services for the most part. Um, I also worked at a sexual assault center for quite a number of years, ending up as the executive director. It was at a time when everyone used to think that the people you had to be scared of were the dark strangers on a dark night on a dark street, rather than knowing that life is a lot more complicated than that. Let's just put it that way. Um, I became exquisitely attuned to the pain in the world, not just of women, but of all people who are um, oppressed or imprisoned or in some way. I burnt out from that, as one can imagine, and then in moving out west from having lived in um, Ontario, I'm my husband and I moved to the Crow's Nest Pass to semi-retire and write our books, so to speak. The poetry and the art, uh, not exclusively, but are more than three quarters of the time produced together. Part of the intentional creativity process is that you start with a question and then on a, on, on a canvas you'll just put some blank put some colors there. You're not aiming for images yet. And as you start to uh, paint the blank canvas, images do come to mind. So then I'll write them down too. You know, you've got the paint on one hand and the, my notebook in the other. And then as, the, as you start to paint the images, maybe another phrase will come up about something. And of course, it's all mixed in with you know, what you've been thinking about and what you've been passionate about for the last couple of weeks anyway. And so they start to play together. And so by the time the, the, the painting is finished, I've usually got a page of words that are somehow telling some sort of a story or are describing some sort of an image or feeling. Poetry is not for the elites. All of us have the right to self-expression. That's exactly how I feel about the painting. Um, I, you know, I'm no Picasso. I'm no Leonardo da Vinci. I'd love to be Georgia O'Keeffe someday, but I probably won't live long enough. On the other hand, I'm me, and what I do is just good enough. And it's and I love it, and other people love it, and it's great. Um, and that's the way with poetry. I think poetry can be for everyone the way writing is for everyone. Not everyone is the greatest writer in the world, but all of us now know how to write an email and get the thoughts across, get the job done. Poetry is not about rhyming. Poetry is about saying what you have to say, telling your story in a way that is condensed. You get the meaning of it rather than maybe all of the details. It's that way too with my, my whole self. In some ways it's easier for me to say who I'm not than who I am. I'm not a university professor. I don't have a PhD. I'm not a licensed psychotherapist. I'm not a Jungian analyst. I'm not, you know, I can go through, I'm not a social worker, that kinds of things. And yet what I am is I'm a contemplative educator, artist, and counselor.